Germany is a country full of surprises and perhaps the most surprising of all is that in the 1960s it was at the cutting edge of science fiction. Yes, just nine days after Star Trek was first broadcast on American television, German audiences were treated to the first episode of Raumpatrouille. Set in the far future, it tells the story of the spaceship Orion and its crew, captained by Major Cliff Alistair MacLean. Presumably his ancestors were American, but by this time there are no more nations, and for some reason everybody speaks German. MacLean's reckless and irresponsible attitude sees him relegated to routine patrol duty under the watchful eye of Lieutenant Jagalovsk of the Galactic Security Service, an arrangement he's not very happy with. But it's on the first of these boring missions that the crew encounter an alien race they call frogs, who have managed somehow to infiltrate near space without anyone noticing. It seems that Earth must prepare for war. All of which sounds very formulaic and uninspired, but it still managed to achieve a cult following. The series didn't last for very long though. While the original Star Trek lasted three seasons before being cancelled, only seven episodes of Raumpatrouille were ever made. There are various different stories about why it was cancelled so soon, but one thing is for certain. It had Hollywood ambitions, but it lacked a Hollywood budget. Although it was broadcast in black and white, some scenes were actually filmed in colour, and this is because they were using chroma key and other complex techniques for some spectacular special effects. One scene was composed of 13 different elements. And back in 1966, this was no easy task. Without computers to help speed things up, post-production took an entire year, and that must have eaten into the budget. Bear in mind that the reason the makers of the original Star Trek invented the transporter was because in the first season even they didn't have the budget to make a shuttlecraft. And that left the set designers with a problem. Faced with the task of creating the futuristic bridge of a spacecraft with almost no budget at all, they were forced to improvise. And that's why the ship's controls look like the result of a quick visit to the nearest home improvement store. Of course, now, that seen as part of the charm of the series. And in some ways it was more advanced than the original Star Trek. There were women in positions of high command, including McLean's superior and former commanding officer, General Van Dyke. Sie werden auch nicht in Dienst quittieren wie ein beleidigter Raumkadett. There were glimpses of some of the characters' domestic lives. And the society of the future is not perfect, as the military, government and security services argue, bicker and squabble. So for all the unintentional comedy, the uninspired plot and the frankly quite ridiculous dancing, the series became such a cult classic that in 2003, scenes from all seven episodes were edited together into a feature-length movie. Remember, you can always send me a postcard at this address. You can also find me elsewhere on the web. Visit rubos.com to find out how.